the Kimbe. Bro got beans like then they with my eye, Jackie Chan. I go this way, you go this way. You diss me for no dismay. You'll get the picture when this play. Don't touch me. I've been on 10 since Wednesday. It's Monday. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, New Air Mar. Back again with another video for y'all. Tonight, we about to react. Well, today, tonight, whenever you watching it. <laughs> anyway, we about to react to this new Summer Walker Life on Earth EP. I've been excited for this all week. I've been waiting for this moment. I've been gearing up just for this. I'm ready to catch a vibe. I don't even want to talk too much. All I want to say is, if you watch my reaction to Summer Walker's Over It album, you will understand why I'm excited right now. That album was literally my favorite R&B album that year of 20, what was that, 2019 or 18? I think it was, I feel like it was 18 in my head, but I get the years mixed up. But whenever it came out, it was the best R&B album that year. Nothing topped it to me, okay? It was in my top 10 albums of that year as well. Even with the hip hop albums, it was battling them. And it was like, I think it might've been top five. It might've been top five and it might not have been five. She did no wrong on that last album. In fact, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna go as far as to say, I have not heard a bad song from her yet. She don't put out a lot of music, but when she does, it's quality. I love her voice. It's hard for her to do anything wrong to me. She would literally have to just start rapping trash verses on songs or something. Like it would have to be something like that. And that might even sound good for real, for real. So I'm excited to hear this. Her voice is beautiful. Uh her production on the last album shout out to london on the track i know that's her man or whatever um he, he produced the whole thing um he killed that last album with the production he gave her the perfect production i really hope that he keeps doing more production for her i'm cool if she wants to go back to the old stuff where she was doing like real chill beats or like just like guitar medleys and stuff like just singing over guitar that's cool too I love when she do that too, but I want to hear her on some more of that, that over it album type of stuff, like that hard knocking the whip type of stuff that I could cruise to still late night. Bye. So we about to check it out. Let's get into it. Summer Walker Life on Earth EP. Let's go. Track number one, Let It Go. This song, just from the guitar, the, the um, the guitar melody, melody, let's play melody, the melody of the guitar, whatever. I can't get it out. Um, it, it reminds me of um playing games it reminds me of playing games just the sound like if you just take the beat away just play the guitar it would it's, it's kind of like this you know what i mean it's like a little different but it reminds me of playing games even when the beat dropped i said okay it's not as hard not as they don't hit me as hard off the rip but you know it just it reminds me of that same tempo and everything you know Track number two, SWV featuring No One Noah. By the way, SWV is my favorite uh, female group from the 90s. I think they, they put out the best music. They got hits for days. I rock with them heavy. song was cool it was all right um i probably would have to play it i i like the hook the hook is really catchy i like even how the dude sounded when he came in with it. he had the deep voice so like it sounded cool with them blending together the hook is catchy so i could see that i could see that being like perfect when you're around a female and y'all like in the car driving or something you trying to get the mood set that'll be perfect Chat number three this is the one i'm ready for 
My Affection featuring Party Next Door. I'm trying to think if I like it as much as the, you know, I, I compare a lot of her music to the last stuff that I heard. I, I do that with everybody. But um, I'm comparing this song to the last song on the other album that she did with Party. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I, I ended up really liking that song because Party's verse was super real to me. And he killed it again on this one, too. Um, but... I don't know if it's as good as the last song. They they got a similar vibe. I can see it growing even more, but I like the song though. I like how they was going back and forth. They sound good together. Like I think Party probably produced it. Like he he does most of his stuff. So I can see the like them they got a similar vibe with the sounds. So they sound good together. I like the song though. It's cool. Track number four, White T featuring no one, no one no. <laughs> Featuring no one, Noah again. Yes, I do. Ooh. 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 This is hard. Whoever made the beat, they killed it. No one, Noah, you did your thing too. I like that hook. It's catchy. But Summer, it's funny because I said she don't do nothing wrong. She would literally had to come out like, rapping a trash verse and she might even like she would have to come out rapping all of a sudden and i hate when singers just start rapping out of the clear blue for no reason but like she she literally did it and she killed it though and it wasn't even like a full rap like she did it in a sexy voice like a still singy type of voice she killed it though track number five deeper and i hope she go i hope this is going there I rock with it. It's a, it's, it's her. It's a typical Summer Walker song. <laughs> I rock with it. Can't be mad at it at all. All right, so now we're at the end of the album. Time for me to give a review based off a of first listen. Um, I rock with it. I rock with it. It's five songs. It's not much to really dig deep into or nothing like that. Like, I'm not judging it like a full album and I'm trying to pick the songs that's you know what I mean? I'm not trying to like rate it or nothing like that. I'm going to just say it's, it's it's dope. You know what I mean? It's dope. She still sings beautifully. Her voice is amazing as always. She she wasn't slipping vocally at all. Um, the production is pretty much what she always does. Like she didn't step out of her comfort zone or nothing. Like she didn't try nothing crazy or nothing. It sounded good. Um, the only thing different was the, the no one Noah guy. And I, well, you know what? She did step out a little bit. Actually, I take that back. The White T song. The White T song where she was, you know, I mean, it wasn't really like nothing different. It was just the fact that she kind of did like a rappy type of thing. She was flowing on a, on a hard beat, like a hard trap type of beat. And she was rapping on it almost. Not rapping, but singing in her own way that sounds like a rap. I like SWV too. SWV, they got a catchy hook. I want to hear that again. I want to listen to that again. I'm going to listen to the whole thing again. I'm going to listen to this all weekend for real. I've been waiting for this. So I appreciate it. I can't really compare it to like her last album because that's just classic to me. Now, I don't want to say classic. It might be too soon, but it's definitely a great R&B 
album. It's a great body of work. This is just five songs. This is just a little teaser to just give you something to listen to before the album come. You know, we, I can't really judge nothing off of this too crazy, but she sounds good. The music is good. Um, I don't know if London did any of this, but I hope for the album he does come in and do some more work with her for sure for sure or maybe he did do some of this and he just didn't put his tag on anything so y'all comment below let me know what y'all think did y'all like the album did you not like it or did you like the ep did you not like it you wish it was longer wish it was shorter um what songs did y'all like off of it what's your favorite songs and um comment below if there's anything else i should react to this weekend that i might miss and uh i'm gonna try to do that for y'all it's your boy new Aramar. i'm out peace